Pitiful. Why did I ever believe you could change anything? You want me dead? If that's what it takes to get rid of you, do it. I will not gift you that release. Not yet. This was a fraction of the pain my children can inflict. If you do not finish your training, become something greater, you will feel the full weight of their rage. You keep saying, I have to become more than I am. But you never explain what that means. You demand a simple answer, refusing to look for it within. That is the essence of your failure. I cannot stay to protect you any longer. There are matters to which I must attend, but I will leave you with a final token of my favor. Fulfill your destiny, and I promise to return. I bent my knee to you. I gave you my loyalty in exchange for your power. You have received all that I can give. For now, one day there may be more. Until then... I love this storyline. It is so well written. Cheer up, big brother. You're making me sad. Father won't face me himself. He's punishing you for stealing his chair. He isn't angry. Father never feels anything. Not even when I... When Vexen died. He was a good brother. Brought me gifts from all the worlds he conquered. I freed you from Father's control. I hope that earned your... support. My loyalties lie here, Arkan. Always. Now what? Hmm. I've seen that ship before. It looks like the Jedi version. It means death to disbelievers. It means the end of our corrupt society. It means great happiness for all. You understand much, but do you know what will become of you, your family? We give ourselves to Zildrog's glory so that the wicked may be punished. We die so that Zakul may live on. Good. You are on your way. In Zildrog's name. In Zildrog's name.
There's just a bunch of like going around clicking stuff. I know I'm like discovering clues. For millennia, Jedi and Sith archive their knowledge in holocrons. These legacies preserve the wisdom of great minds. The focus was often on exploring mysteries of the Force, not the practical matters of government. After all, Jedi do not seek to lead, and it is in the nature of Sith to force their wills upon others. But a few sought to understand what it truly means to lead a civilization. Same creatures. Where's the creature? There's a creature. Justice for Valkorian! Until next time. I would much rather have that. So why is it still? Looks like I have to go back in to discover more clues. Talk to the owner of the camp. Where is this? Still can <coughs> still can walk. Okay. Guess that's how it is. I've waited for you a long it's a deal, time. Sean. Oh my god. Welcome to my home, Outlander. Jedi Master Satil Shan. I dreamed about meeting like this. Tell me it's really happening this time. Whatever you believe this is. I'd rather not know. <laughs> yes, I'm going to offer a meal. Stop rushing me. You survived an ordeal. Come. Sit. There's food. Don't take this personally, but you've gotten... 
strange. I think we both have. Many things changed while you slept in Carbonite. I led the fight to save the Republic from Zakul. Nothing prepared me to face that enemy. I failed. Again. And again. This camp isn't new. You've been on Odessan for a while. When the Republic surrendered to Arkan, I gave myself to the will of the Force. I left the Core Worlds and found this planet. We've been here for years, waiting. We? Is there someone else here? In the Force, we are never alone. We sensed your awakening on Zakul. Felt the presence of our old enemy guiding you. We witnessed the victories and defeats leading you here. When we found you in that clearing, we faced a choice. Bring you here. Or end you there. You're saying it was pure chance that you found me out there? Of course not. There are unseen influences working through me. Valkorion. And especially you. Valkorion strengthened your bond to the Force. You may be the greatest of us all, but your old training like couldn't it. prepare you for what's to come. You have much to learn. Follow us. Seek the answers throughout the valley. You will know when you find them. Yeah, because there's a highlight, you see? Are you not tameable? No. There is no greater challenge than to change from within. But that is what we all must do to survive. The most powerful among us couldn't stand against the endless legions of Zakul. Even the Sith Empire learned that lesson too late. On countless worlds, I watch Jedi sacrifice themselves to delay inevitable defeat. We will not let you meet their fate.
I went to Zakul in secret to see the Eternal Throne myself. I still bear the scars of that journey. Please don't be a jumping challenge. On Odessan, light and dark exist in perfect balance, forming a nexus in the Force. There is another world like it, Zakul. Arkan and his knights learn to use the Force in a different way from Jedi and Sith. It's why we couldn't truly defeat them. I faced plenty of warriors from Zakul. They fell the same as everyone else. Don't confuse them with Arkan. And his sister is another problem entirely. Jedi approach the Force as a companion, and Sith try to enslave it. But Arkan's knights believe the Force is their reward for serving an ideal. They swear their lives to the Eternal Emperor. The more they honor his commandments, the greater their power. The knights obey their master without question. Sacrificing everything for his triumph. Devotion makes them strong. You must become stronger. I thought only Sith cared about being the most powerful. You sound like Valkorian. We are nothing like that man. Darth Ma. Valkorion destroyed my flesh, but not my reason for being. <laughs> Even in death, your armor. Nothing can hurt you now. All that armor is pointless. I appear to you as I wish to be remembered. A symbol. After my defeat, I sought an ally to make things right again. But only one. In all the galaxy was my equal. Me. We met on this world. We argued, explored, and found an understanding. We now pass that knowledge to you. If Jedi and Sith have found a way to work together, I want to know how. No one is more surprised than I am to be here in this moment. But I trust the will of the Force. We do not offer empty platitudes. We do not promise easy victory. All we ask is that you listen with an open mind and learn from our failures. To forge the future, you must first break with the past. Victory over Arkham requires new perspectives and new weapons. Follow the will of the Force into the wilderness beyond this camp. Find what we left for you and meet us in the cave. Arkan won't be conquered through passion or righteousness. He has emptied himself of weaknesses like sentiment and morality. Mm-hmm. 
Your enemy stole his empire through deceit and murder. He's accustomed to the dark. You must strike where he's blind. From within. I really want to go down there. But I don't want to make that jump. You. You. It will not be enough to defeat Arkin. His eternal throne and the fleeted commands are the greatest threats our galaxy has ever faced. It's always funny how when you're actually um like doing role-playing games you you feel like you're the hero you're the only one in the world that could have done what you have doing well probably the only one that could be that bad supposed to be something around here can you find it mr. boob head nope oh yeah. the sith code teaches us to break our chains but freedom is not your ultimate goal you must anchor yourself to power. When Arkin lies defeated, your destiny is to take the eternal throne. Any other path will lead only into chaos. Well, I wouldn't like doing anything else to take the throne.
The Force is in motion, and we must follow. The old ways aren't enough. We'll show you the new way. Please tell me I don't have to. Okay, I have to go. Oh. Miss the Jedi Code. I was wrong. It's almost like there is no death. There is only the Force. And it has a plan. The will of the Force is a flowing current. You can follow or fight it. But it is always there. in the future. I have a future, Valen. But you don't. Just the way I like it. Hmm. 